So why are we at Jogo Road? Uh, the main reason is because we are looking for a good bed that we can buy. Today we have um, some errands that we want to run. We want to get a new bed. We also want to get a new mattress for the bed. So before we talk much, um, I just wanted to show you some of um, the things that I'm doing starting the month. One thing that I've done is to make the hair cornrows. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, maintaining natural hair has become a hassle. Let me apply some oil on my hair. So I'm about to go to bathroom. So let me tell you guys. I think I have fallen in love again with um, making the nails. Waxing! For the first time. For the first time. How was it? So in case you want to buy me a gift, I'm say 16. <laughs> and I don't fit. Uh, other items that I bought are these sets of trousers. He has actually stopped crying. So there is this shielding machine that I bought for my son. Very small, you just charge it. all doing good and keeping safe i'm doing good i'm keeping safe this is the third time or the fourth time i'm doing the intro <laughs> hey. guys i'm forgetting how to be in front of camera because it has been a minute honestly for the last six months i haven't been so much consistent on youtube but i feel like i'm coming back to myself again the fact that I just realized that lady baby shop is not going anywhere that's my second baby <coughs> And I just have to learn how I will live with it. So I have, I'm trying to find balance in life, like having routines, especially weekly routines and monthly, to make sure that on daily life I'm able to do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. So um, some of the changes that um, I have made is having a day bag. Initially I used to have a living nanny. Right now I still have her. Yeah around but she doesn't do like things like deep cleaning and laundry i realized that she spent a lot of time washing clothes on daily basis sometimes doing house deep cleaning yet nowadays light is moving a lot so under two if you're a parent and you have under two you know what i mean like they move a lot and they don't really understand what they're doing like a baby can go and maybe for example if you are cooking they will just go and catch the fire like just do what they just want to do they don't understand what is happening for example if it is tv they will just go and touch the tv and pull it and do what they want to do because they they don't understand so i just decided to make sure that my nanny is able to take care of my baby during the day i reduced some of her chores so she just does the weekly maintenance like washing utensils the house when the baby is asleep during the day cooking such stuff um something else that i have I have I think I have been doing that is restocking weekly especially with kitchen groceries so that I make sure that I have what I need at home I have the groceries I have the tomatoes I have the onions I have what I need something else that I've not done and I need to do is come up with a meal plan because nowadays we just eat what we will eat like that day so it's on Monday what are we gonna be cooking today this and this Tuesday this and this we have no plan so i think i need to come up with a new meal plan <laughs> a practical one so that uh, i can even we can even go back to weekend but cooking for things like breakfast cereals sorry cereals etc yeah um i think yeah as you watch my vlogs you will just be able to see the routines that i'm coming up with something else that i just want to prioritize is self-care guys i just realized that being a mom a wife and you're working my friend you can forget about yourself like you can forget yourself that's what i mean for example 
you let's say you have an eight to five you leave the house at eight in the morning come in the evening in the evening that's the time you wanna um, you wanna bond with your family then you sleep monday to friday then on sa saturday it's also another time to bond with your family so if you don't prioritize self-care you can forget yourself so prioritize so i just want to um, to do that prioritize because i just realized if i don't create time for that i will never have that time that i just have for self-care you know it's upon me to prioritize yeah so before we talk much um i just wanted to show you some of um, the things that i'm doing starting the month one thing that i've done is to make the hair cornrows <laughs> let me tell you guys maintaining Natural hair has become a hassle well, again. For example, combing the hair every morning, applying gel every morning. Mm -mm, guys, hey, I just realized that sometimes your hair can even be shaggy and you will not even notice. For example, on weekends when you're at home, you know those mornings when you just wake up and you're at home chilling. You don't go to bathroom first and, and shower and pray for work such things so you can stay like for the whole of the day i'm a half day your hair being shaggy so nowadays i'm plating the hair so i got this hair done from beauty space not beauty space magic designer you can follow them on instagram this is not a paid advert but i think i loved the work of their contours i just love how neat they are and the designing so god willing this year i'm gonna just play around with this half what's the name of this style half half, half rasters yeah mm. so i'll just be playing around with the controls in front and maybe just do canyons yeah i'm not a wig person i'm not a wig person a wig wig is also another work <laughs> so it's all about making life easy also make sure that i made my nails you can't just notice because it's a nude a nude gel let me apply some oil on my hands so i'm about to go to bathroom so let me tell you guys <coughs> I think I have fallen in love again with um, making the nails since I became a mom for the whole of my first year of motherhood I didn't go for pedicure nor manicure but I've gone back to that this is like a catch-up vlog <laughs> I would also love to know how you're doing in the comment section so this is the um, the gel that I have uh, the tips the tips yeah it's nude 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 yeah that's how that's the art i think i love that nude shade nowadays i'm not attracted to the shouting colors although i know that i'm gonna explore because this is something that i'll be doing monthly but for now i am so much attracted to nudes yeah so Maybe I will just be decorating the nudes here in love. So I made the nails just to make sure that they look put together. <laughs> okay. Uh, something else that um, I have done for the monthly reset is to upgrade my wardrobe. Kido go to not much. I just added some few pieces of clothes because of... Um, because definitely going to work on daily basis and business at the same time and I am always in front of camera when it comes to light baby shop so I needed to add some few pieces I'm not that okay given a chance I would shop everything at a go like for example if I'm shopping for the year I shop at a go but my husband always encourages me to shop like <laughs> pole pole like he, he has taught me to do things like if it's monthly for example if i need to buy clothes i can always do it monthly monthly because if this mother gets something nice next month i will find something 
that is maybe better. Sorry, I'm recovering from a cold. Let me sip my tea. I'm here with Lamos, guys. Lamos of tea. So I have friends who told me that tea is for old people. Is it? I love tea. Maybe I'm getting old or probably I'm old. <laughs> yeah, and my sugar here. Me, I have cold with sugar. Something is wrong. Anyway, uh, something else that I have done before I share with you, uh, I do the haul for the clothes that I bought, is waxing for the first time. For the first time. How was it? It wasn't badly off. People normally say waxing is painful. It is, but for underarms it's not as painful. It's not as painful, but Brazilian, it's painful. It's painful, guys, I will not lie. So let me do, yeah, the thing for every weekend when you're doing self-care, thinking about how you're going to shave and all those things, I think it's too much. That's why I've decided to opt for waxing. Maybe probably if I change later, I will share with you, but for now, that's what I'm doing. So let me share with you some of the items that I bought. Yeah. So, oh, the white drop is open. Sorry, guys. <coughs> let me hurry up. So, there is this outfit, guys. It's a two-piece. I will try them on so that you help me rate and tell me definitely this might be the favorite one. Okay, this is a brand new two-piece and it has it's palazzo-like so that's how it looks like. That's how it looks like. Lazo has this blouse and I loved I loved the hands details in this belt. I'm gonna be trying it on. We see we see how it looks. So that's the first outfit that I restocked. This one I got from Sawa Mall. You can check Sawa or Sasa. Those malls, they have so many outfits, but there is this specific shop that had the two-piece sets. My body changed a lot after giving birth, so getting an outfit that looks good on you or that uh, fits your body type, sometimes it's a hassle. So I think I can actually get a full dozen of this, of this type, like this style. Yeah, only that now the dozen comes in different sizes. So you will find only two pairs or one that is fitting you. I'm a size 16 right now. I did enjoy me. I think I was size 14 before I gave birth. Right now I'm a size 16 and that is XL. So I'm happy to discover that again, that I'm a size 16. So in case you want to buy me a gift, I'm size 16. <laughs> Another outfit. Uh, other items that I bought are these sets of trousers. Trousers any day, guys. <coughs> Sorry. Trousers any day. Not dresses. For a busy mom, Kwanza leggings and long t shirts they come in handy a lot. They come in handy. So dresses, maybe one or two for maybe when my husband is taking me for a date. <laughs> but I will not lie that I will rock dresses on daily basis. No. Especially with light baby shop. When I'm up and down, no. It's not be possible. So I will show you the trousers, then I will pair them for you. So there is this first set. It's a, is this lavender purple or which shade of purple is this? So, 
that one <laughs> yeah this one i love it i love how it looks on me i had already tried okay when i buy something the first thing that i will do when i come home is try and show my husband and ask him how does it look on me and sometimes he will not give me a good feedback so we know that one is zero or one out of ten so this one really cute the second pant very about is this jungle green it's more of a palazzo pant or i don't know yeah that one <laughs> Jungle cream looks so cute. So I just realized that when wearing this kind of pants together with chiffon tops, they look so nice. They look so nice, guys. So I will try them on. Then you let me know. At the moment, I don't know the style, especially when it comes to official outfits. A lot has changed in my wardrobe since I became a mom because my body changed a lot. I'm a size 16. My tummy is no longer a flat tummy. You know, uh, there is this that trouser here. Yo, cute one. I'll be selling that one too. So, those three are official. Actually, the corset, this one is more of official for office look. This one is official for office look. This one is official for office look. And this one is official for office look. So there are two that I bought casual. Casual for those business days. Yeah. Although even the official ones really look nice. <coughs> so re so there is this one here. It's stretchy. And I love these details down here. And it's, it's a three-quarter trouser. It's a three-quarter one. And there's this other one here. This one. Three-quarter. Yeah. So let me style them. Or maybe see how I would pair them. Then I share with you. So here is the first look. I hope that you will be able to see me. Let me close the belt. Don't think that you are able to see down. <coughs> I hope, I hope so. Mm -hmm. So the, that's the first look and I really love it. I love this shade, it looks really nice. Let me look at myself from the mirror. What is it, guys? How is this? In case you need the plug, you can check them out from Mr. Price. I love it. I love that I can still rock them with my baby fat. Hmm? Is this me tucking in? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's interesting. Okay, I love it. So that's how I think I would combine this one, but definitely not limited to this shade. I can get a top that is more floral with this shade and pair it. But that one, I love it. Shoes, it's definitely flat shoes. Heels, it's a no. So let me do the second pair and see how I would paint. Cute one, right? <laughs> and I love this hair. Next one. So the second trouser, I've just paired it with the top that I was uh, wearing, but it's not restricted to this top. Just seeing how it would look. That's how it would look. Yeah. That's its look. <laughs> it's this ass tucking in. Okay. I love it. That's the second look. 
Now um, that's how it looks like. Let me pair the that one real quick. Let me see how it looks. It's a bit tight, but manageable. So that's how it looks. Definitely, I would pair it with mini tops, black, white, any floral. Yeah. So let me try the fourth one. I just paired it with these top, but definitely I would try mini tops. You can never go wrong with jeans. Fourth one, no, the last one, the fifth one. It's a um, casual one. I just like how the colors are complementing each other. I love the top, it's a bit long. How else I would pair it is maybe just try to tuck in this top then just make it um, look something like that. Let me see. Is it looking funny? No, yeah, just like that. I think that one looks better. Yeah, that's it and that's how it looks. I think I like this so much. The fact that it's casual and I would wear it to many places, yeah? I think I like it. Okay guys, so that's it. Uh, for this segment, I will see you as I get ready for work. Hey guys, the following day in the morning, before I get ready for work, I'm having my breakfast, I'm just having the noodles that were I cooked yesterday. So, um, yeah, really sweet. I don't know why I have to eat um, food in the breakfast. There's something about food being warmed. <laughs> anyway, I want to do a very quick haul um, for groceries that uh, we are restocking this week. And before I do the haul, there's this thing. Hi, baby. There's this thing that I want to share with you guys. Um, I decided, it is, I decided to buy my son this shaving machine. Let me keep him this cover so that he stops crying. He's just his father. So um, I think I'll have to add, put this in here so that they safe. He has actually stopped crying. So there is this shaving machine that I bought for my son. Very small, you just charge it. Yeah. It's, you know the kids, they really move a lot and they are getting shaved and all. So I decided to buy this shaving machine for him because I will not like to because since my baby was born, he has never been shaved. I am shaving him for the first time. Wish I can record for you, but I know that it will be it will be messy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I got it at I think 1200 yeah it's actually uh, I thought that when you would pray instead of just taking the baby to the flower shop there and you don't know the condition of the machine yeah so something else that I bought I restocked fruits. I want to hurry up very fast. I don't want the video to be so long. Yeah, I decided to restock some fruits for the week. Mm. <laughs> Mangoes, apples, and some bananas. At least bananas look a bit messed up. I don't know, come out to use a or something like that. But we'll have to see what's going on. Um, Some cabbages. Some cabbages. Three are enough for the week, so we we'll just put them over here so that they are cleaned and stored and get well stored in the fridge. Okay, 
That's why it's good to feed the baby those cream bananas. This is the weekly restocking that I normally do. Those black beans and the kamande, all the brown lentils. This was the heat to be transferred into the storage jars. Um, something else at the spinach. So, guys, I'll show you the garden. My garden is really dry outside. Has the kills and um, managu, but I don't have spinach. I think I will have to add that. So for now, I normally buy spinach for the baby, especially because of cooking for him. Some bananas. Let me see what's this. It might be who shops for me nowadays, especially. Sometimes I'm not able to go to the market, and maybe if I don't want to send my nanny, so. So pause. Oh, okay. Some gorgeous. And some lemons, but these lemons are so few. Or there are other lemons somewhere because these ones cannot take me for a whole week. They are how many? Just four lemons. Mm -hmm. see. Mm-hmm. Modern meals. Modern meals. Broccoli. Tomatoes. There are number. Just put them here so that they get washed. And I'll just have to pour them here. Uh -huh. Um, carrots and tomatoes, potatoes I mean, look at this, potatoes, very big, very, very big, can't wait to cook mashed potatoes, yeah, and then add the spring onions, I know they taste so nice, yeah, so from here guys, I will just leave my nanny to clean this and organize them in the fridge, then I go and get ready. Happy Saturday guys, so sorry, I wasn't able to vlog the get ready with me part, it's actually two weeks later, as you can see, my hair is so bit, <laughs> we're actually almost undoing this and do another one, don't mind the noise on the road, we are somewhere at Jogo Road together with Habi, can I show you Habi, don't tell him that we are vlogging him, don't tell him that this is what I'm doing. So he's somewhere there. I'm gonna be showing you guys. So where are we at Jogo Road? Uh, the main reason is because we are looking for a good bed that we can buy. Today we have um, some rides that we want to run. We want to get a new bed. We also want to get a new mattress for the bed. Am I so much excited? I don't think so. I'm just there. 
because I love the bed that I have been using. I really love that bed. I really love that bed. But the time has come that I just need an upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm so much attached to the other bed. <laughs> For fire guys, I need to upgrade. I just have to, yeah, mixed reactions. Anyway, so we have already identified the bed that we want, the same shade as the shade of my couch, because I have that same couch in my bedroom. My paint on the wall is the cream white, plus we have no soft white. Plus we have the the wardrobes are have the shade of the brown that soft white you know so you will see the bed shortly so I think actually my husband is actually making the payment let me show you there are people on the road and I don't want to shoot them so there we go the one who is standing that one let me zoom him I don't know whether I'll be able to zoom in There he is. <laughs> so guys, we were able to get the exact bed that I actually wanted. The shade, because the couch in my room have the exact shade and the theme color in my house is um, that shade of brown. Um, also the paint in my room is the soft white, so I actually wanted that bed like the exact shade of brown, okay? um so one thing i wanted to let you know guys is that joko road have so many varieties make sure that you prep in advance know what you want um the beds range from um 28000 and above but it depends on the kind of bed that you want so i think from where like based on what i wanted that's what i found out they were ranging between 28k and above so one thing that i noticed is that you can those guys can sell the bed for you at a higher price because they are paid on commission so for example a bed that goes for twenty eight thousand, they can sell for you at 38k they can sell for you at 40k then you negotiate so when you go there just negotiate the price that they will tell you <laughs> yeah guys and i really loved this bed it's a five by six that's the size i wanted so from there we passed by Nevers. I wanted to buy this spring mattress um, and I didn't have time to go to Dr. Mattress so we opted to buy it from a uh, supermarket. It's a really comfortable mattress. The fact that I have used it is a spring mattress. So for the mattress too they were ranging between 18,000 and above based on the type of mattress that you want, whether you want the spring mattress, the orthopedic ones, such guys. For me, I opted for the spring one. And I love how it makes the bed look so amazing and fluffy at the same time. Like the bed looks so cute um, with this mattress. So it was a good purchase. It was a good purchase. I'm a happy woman. For me guys as i always tell you i love to take time before buying something i'll take time like i have um the bed that i've been using i really loved it but i knew that at some point i will have to upgrade so i gave myself some time so that i get something nice that i actually wanted i knew that it would cost me some coins huh? so yeah so i also wanted to add some two pillows I knew that these were not the best like to get because I want to visit Kamukunji and buy some beddings. I want to buy some really nice pillows for the bed, for decoration. I also want to visit um, what's what's the name of this shop that sells beddings? I know Kamukunji have some really nice, cute, affordable beddings like duvets. Uh, pillows, the pillow covers. So I think Smart Lady Homes or Smart. <laughs> guys, it is a shop that sells really nice uh, beddings that look so good. I, I think I'm gonna visit them. I'm also planning to add the side tables for the 
bed i think they were going for 5000 each the for the shade that uh, for the bed for the exact bed that i took but i was not able to buy those ones today but i will buy them with time i don't know when but i'll share with you once i get them yeah so here we are we have gotten home the bed is here the mattress is here it is being offloaded so that it is installed in our room like uh, making sure that it has been uh, put together yeah so enjoy